Hi there, it's me Bobby, and today I wanted to tell you a story about how I healed my back pain. Um, I had left a comment on another person's video that um, the video was about mind body healing, and I posted a comment basically saying how from reading a book, this one, Healing Back Pain by Dr. John Zarno had healed me of my back pain many years ago, back in the early 90s, um, when I was in my early 20s, and I'm 45 now. And I got a lot of uh, feedback from that comment, people um, wanting to know more of how I did it and wanting to know where to get the book. And I got some not-so-nice comments as well, uh, basically telling me that I was lying and stopped making up stories and somehow I was getting money from the book, which is not true. <laughs> um, so if, if you're one of those people that does not believe in the possibility of the mind um, helping to affect a cure in your body, no need to even watch this because it won't help you anyway. So um, moving on. Um, when I was in my early 20s, uh, I was pregnant with my first child, I started having lower back pain with sciatica down my entire right leg to my foot. And um, I went to many doctors and I even went to see an orthopedic surgeon and um, I tried everything short of surgery. And that's only because, and I would have, but that's only because the surgeon, because I was so young, said that she really wanted to wait to use that option to try other things first. And I had tried physical therapy, I had tried um, acupuncture, chiropractor, um, meds, pain pills, um, uh, you know, yoga, stretching, um, nothing, nothing cured my back pain and sciatica and really my main pain source was the sciatica so um yeah it was devastating to hear that at such a young age that you know well we really don't know how to cure you um and i was terrified that i would have to deal with this for the rest of my life it really affected the quality of my life so um it lasted from when i was pregnant with my first child through after the birth of my second child i still had the pain um, and I was still searching for answers. Um, the thing actually that helped me the most outside of, um, this book was a TENS unit, which would, you know, you attach, if you don't know what it is, little electrodes to your painful area, and then it helps to, um, numb the pain that way. But anyway, that still wasn't good enough. I needed complete resolution of this. My, I wanted my life back. So, um, I just happened across this book and I had always believed that there, you know, the mind is very powerful and that the mind and body are connected. So, um, it wasn't a leap of faith for me to believe the things this book says, but basically the book is saying that it is a physical pain. You're not, you know, crazy. You're not making it up. And I think this is where a lot of people get angry about it because they think that, if you're saying, oh, you can heal yourself with your mind, that you're that somehow that means you're lying about what you're going through. And that's not what the book says. Um, and I'm only going to give you just a general overview of what it says. You really need to go find the book, either at your local library or, you know, you can order it from Amazon or, you know, you might be able to search audiobooks or something. Because you, the healing is in reading the information of the book. Um, because... Um, it says healing it without drugs, without surgery, without exercise, back pain can be stopped forever. And I can testify to that. Um, so I started reading this book when I got it, hoping, you know, finally this might be the answer. And basically what he teaches is that, um, because especially some personality types tend to suppress emotions like, um, anger and, um, anxiety that the brain actually um, physically with uh, will slow down blood supply to certain areas of your body, um, muscle, tendon, um, nerve tissue, and that's what causes the pain. And the reason the mind chooses to do that is because 
it's trying to take your attention off of your emotional discomforts and place it on a physical discomfort instead. It's choosing that, that it would, that it thinks that, you know, that would be a preferable way to not deal with your emotional issues is to give you a physical symptom. And then, you know, if you've ever had pain, that's really all you can think about. I mean, it's hard to think about other things when you've got a chronic pain issue. So for me, that doesn't upset me. And, and a lot of these emotions are un unconscious, like, or subconscious. In your subconscious mind, you don't even realize how much anger, repressed anger and anxiety you actually have. Um, and he talks about in the book, it tends to be certain personality types. So it's like, it's not your fault. It's just a way that your brain is choosing to cope, basically that you might not even be aware of. So um, what he says is the cure is in the knowledge of reading the mechanism of it. You have to believe it because if you don't believe it, your brain will continue to use that mechanism to fool you. And, um, and he even said, sadly, 97% of people won't be healed by the information because um, they've, been taught for so long that you know what your doctor says is right and if he's saying that you have a physical abnormality that's causing the pain then that has to be what it is and I had been diagnosed by the way with a um, bulging disc in my lumbar spine so that was what the doctors were pointing to as the source of my pain and of course I believe that but when I read this book I totally believed it I'm like oh no this makes sense like this makes total sense. And so he tells you to um, don't think physically anymore, to think psychologically. So when you your pain is bad and you're starting to focus on the pain, to switch your mind over to, oh, what could be bothering me today? You know, what could I possibly be angry about today or resentful about? And start doing that and forcing yourself to do that. And then also another thing was is stop all of the ways that you physically limited yourself and start to act as though you don't have these problems and that what that does is shortcut the fear that you know physically if you move a certain way or sit a certain way that you're going to aggravate the condition and cause it to become worse so for example you know i was afraid to you know push my kids in the stroller up and down our country road that I lived on because I was afraid it would make it worse somehow and I would drive my car with my left foot instead of my right because of the pain and I made myself stop doing that and started driving my car again with my right foot I was afraid to ride my bicycle anymore which I enjoyed doing so I made myself ride my bicycle and I kid you not after doing these things within two weeks my pain was gone now it gradually subsided over the two week period it didn't immediately go away but what he said was is when the brain gets the message that this trick is not working anymore it finally gives it up it finally gives it up so um, that's my story and um, you know I swear to you this is true I'm not <laughs> I'm not selling this book and I have no reason to lie about this and you know I'm sure some people would say well you know coincidence well I suppose it could be but I know I had that pain for two and a half years and nothing worked until I read this book bingo two weeks later gone so I hope I can help somebody with this story and um, yeah you have a blessed day bye